Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. In this video, we're going to talk about the New Island Diagnostic Tool. Now, this is a tool that's going to be exclusive to Atlantic British. It utilizes Bluetooth, so that you're just going to be using your iPhone or your Android system phone or even your iPad, iOS iPad, with a dongle that simply plugs into the diagnostic connector in your vehicle. So it's small, it's portable, it has a tremendous amount of capabilities on it. Uh, just to give you an idea, the system coverage is more than six pages. The special functions, there are over a thousand special functions when you combine all the Land Rover vehicles. And the fact that it's on this little dongle means you can throw this in the glove box of your vehicle and should you be on the road and have a problem, you always have your diagnostic tool with you because you'll always have your cell phone in your pocket. So it's, it's a fantastic idea. So what we've done is we've put together uh, two packages where you could either purchase an individual Land Rover vehicle to run on your system, or you can go the pro version if you're a shop or you work on a lot of Land Rovers, that you will encompass the whole range of Land Rovers so that you always have whatever you need on the unit. So what we're gonna do now, just if you'd like, you wanna follow uh, the video, we have a little rundown on some of the special functions that we thought would be of special interest to a lot of Land Rover owners. The Island app comes packed with over 1,000 special diagnostic and programming functions for Land Rover vehicles. Popular special functions include air suspension height calibration, tire pressure sensor replacement, oil service counter reset, service interval reset, engine adaption reset, Transmission Adaption Reset Key Programming Recover Programmed Keys Verify Keys Security Key Fob Remote Functionality Parking Brake Setting and Unjamming Procedures GEMS Closed Throttle Position Reset Height Recalibration Auxiliary Heater Control Module. Find out more. Check out the complete list of systems coverage and thousands of special functions by vehicle model and year at roverparts.com forward slash island. And if you want to see the full range of features that the iLand has, you can go to roverparts.com and search for iLand. And then it will give you access and you can actually even download and print all the system coverage and applications to the vehicles as well as all the special functions. Okay, so stay with me and we're going to show you how easy it is to set up your new iLand diagnostic tool. Alright, so let's begin. We're going to show you how to load up your iLand program onto your iPhone or your iPad. You're going to go to App Store. And when you go to App Store... At the top in your search, you're going to search for Island Diagnostics, and that's I-L-A-N-D, no S. Once you get on Island Diagnostics, you'll hit Install, and you're going to install the app on your phone. So, now you've downloaded your app. You'll find your icon on your main screen, on your home screen. So, we'll hit that. So, now we're going to go through a registration process. It looks like a login screen, but you'll see down here on the lower left, Sign Up. We'll hit that. And now you're going to feed the information. It, of course, it's going to, it'll stay USA if you're in the U United States. And then essentially what you're going to do at this point, you're going to enter your email address. And then it's going to ask you to do it twice to confirm the correct email. All right, so the screen that you're going to get next, it's going to ask you to set up a password. Once you've set up your password, and you can set up whatever you want in there, it tells you basically just 6 to 20 uh, characters. When you're done with that, there is a verification number right here uh, they're also referred to as a captcha and you're just going to type that in there and then go next so we've made up a password we've entered that verified it next screen is now going to ask you for your first name your last name and then your zip code they're also referred to as postcode we'll enter those we'll hit done and again put us right on the next screen so we've entered our name we've entered our postal code or zip code and so now the next screen will tell us that we've signed up successfully Then we want to continue on to activate the uh, the app and then also to pair up with the dongle so we'll hit activate now and now it's going to ask for serial number 
and a, and a password code, a verification code, which when you get your dongle, you'll notice there is a little piece of paper down on the bottom here. And this will come with your island diagnostic tool. And there'll be a product serial number. And then on this side, the private and confidential, which will be the verification number, you'll need to open up. And underneath will be the verification number. And that's what this is asking for now. So we'll type in those two numbers and then hit next. So we've loaded the two numbers. There was no done or next. We hit the top of the screen and it put us back on the home page. So now the island is basically asking, would like to send me notifications. These are basically going to be the workshop warnings. We'll hit allow. At this stage, you're going to pick your vehicle. Should you own, a, say, a Discovery or Range Rover, Range Rover Evoke, you want to make sure you pick the correct vehicle. Because once you've made that choice, you cannot back out of it. If you press the wrong button and you decide you wanted a different vehicle, what you'll have to do is actually purchase another vehicle through iLand. In this in particular unit, we have the Pro, which is, is going to be set up for all Land Rover vehicles. So the next screen that you get will be uh, the screen where you will choose the vehicle that you um, want to set this up for. Now in this case, this one is set up for a Pro version, which is going to activate all the Land Rover models. If you have purchased the iLand for just one vehicle, and when you, just, when you go to activate that vehicle, once you've made your choice, whether it be a Discovery or a full-size Range Rover, or whichever vehicle you want to set it up, once you have made that choice, it cannot be changed. You're not going to be able to back up and change it back. And you'll have to notify us and we'll arrange to set you back up. So in the meantime, so either way, you're going to hit OK. In this case now, all of them have been activated. On yours, it will leave them deactivated until you choose that screen. So essentially now, we're pretty well we're set up. So if you go back and you refer to the uh, the quick start guide that you received with your with your ILAN, you're going to install the diagnostic app. Now we would show you on this one, but we're already set up for the pro version. And essentially what it's going to do is once you've chosen the vehicle and you click OK, it's actually going to give you a couple windows where you need to accept what they're calling workshop warnings. And it's just basically read through its safety issues that they want to make sure that you're aware of. And then you would hit accept and that will move you on. So now what happens essentially at this point is, and we'll show you what we have, is the dongle that you're going to plug into your diagnostic connector and essentially every vehicle every vehicle sold in the US from 96 model year on has OBD2 which is what this connector is if you're not sure where yours is generally you'll always find it underneath the steering column either just to the right or just to the left under the panel in the case of this being the full size L322 Range Rover it's going to be all the way over here underneath a little flip down plastic and you're going to essentially plug this in once you're plugged in, you put your hand directly underneath, and if you see a little blue light, you know you're powered up and the dongle is on. So now we're just going to essentially go to our next screen. All right, so to show you, this screen is going to pop up. When you have on the on the I.O. system, you're actually going to end up with two icons for iLand. And again, it's I-L-A-N-D, just stated on here. And with this icon, you're going to load it's, it'll tell you get. We're going to load this on so that when we're done, you're going to end up with two icons for iLand on this I.O. system. And you're going to use not the one with this additional sphere on the bottom, but the first icon that loaded on there. It just needs this to back it up. So we're just going to hit get, which is going to put us on install. And we're going to install that in the phone as well. So once that's downloaded, this icon will appear on your screen. As I said, you see the small blue sphere down in the lower right hand corner. That's just there as your Diag software, but you're not going to use that icon to start your iLane when you're ready to operate. You're going to use this one. And this is your this is essentially your standard iLane icon. All right, so we're essentially ready to do the the next step will be obviously the pairing. So we're going to 
pair up the phone now with the with the dongle so that once the two are connected you'll have full use of your island so what essentially you're just going to go to your bluetooth settings all right go to settings pull up bluetooth make sure bluetooth is on and then when you do a scan the serial number for your unit is going to appear on the screen just simply connect to it once you've done that you're all set so we'll get out of settings we'll go back to our main screen let's hit island and now immediately all our vehicles come up so if you're using an individual you're just going to hit that so they say uh, you set yours up for a, um, a Range Rover hit Range Rover and that's going to put you on the screen that's going to allow you to start doing all your diagnostics and that will cover further in other videos but for now we just want to show you how to do your initial setup so that you can get started using the island so if you want more information on the island you can click on this link which will take you to our website or if you like our online videos and want more information on those or just simply want to view the videos you can go to this link and then subscribe to our YouTube channel.